Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put the carburetor on, choke back on, put all these wires where they go because I have them all labeled and then we're going to uh, prime the engine that means I'm going to use a fake distributor put it down into the distributor hole get an electric drill and let the the, uh, the oil pump pump so it gets oil and all over the engine before we start it up so let's put on some of the stuff and then we'll do that later Here's an old distributor that they ground off the ends. And uh, what we're going to do put this right there. Okay, that's all the way down. Okay, the next thing is we're going to put our drill tighten this up okay so now the engine is full of oil it's full of oil and this is running the oil pump just like if the car was running. Okay, so here's what you get to see. As I run this, you'll see oil coming out of here. Whoa. Okay, see that one's getting full. So let me just run it a little slower. Ah. No, it's full because it's squirting out. Okay, so basically you can see, see the oil dripping, just pouring right outside and we don't want that. So now we have, so you can see the oil coming off, all the rocker arms and going back in the head. Then it goes to the back and there's a hole that it goes back into the block so we're basically all primed ready to go so we can start this and be confident that none of the bearings the lifters everything else is going to be dry all right so what we're going to do is put the valve cover back on
Remember when we did this installation before, we glued this uh, valve cover to the, or the gasket to the valve cover, saying that we were going to take it off again. Well, this will probably not be the last time. So we'll button this up and we'll be ready to go.